Hey Superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel, Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and supporting our channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue and I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. So would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, I have some products to share with you from Paint Some Way. And if you want to know what's inside these packages, then just keep on watching. Doing reviews just like I do. Hanging out with your friend Sue. It's Sue. And I'm back. I have some products to share with you from Paint Some Way. They did reach out to me again and ask me if I'd like to collaborate with them by sharing some more items with you all. And I said, absolutely. Now, if you don't know what Paint Some Way is, it's a website where you can go and buy deeply discounted crafting items. They have diamond painting, cross stitch, paint by number, tools, and a whole slew of different accessories. They even have lots of sales always going on where you can get like a dollar off, a percentage off, maybe even a free item. I am going to leave all their information down below in the description box just in case you want to check it out for yourself. And if I have any giveaways going on, I'm also going to leave that linked in the description box. So let me go ahead and show you the items that I picked out this time around. I'm so grateful when these companies reach out to me and diamond painting has become one of my new favorite hobbies. So this is the first item right here. This went for six dollars and 99 cents. So let me go ahead and pull it here out of the plastic so I can show it to you. And I personally like to do things that actually have a function. So the diamond painting projects that I normally pick out, I can do something with them. So that's why I picked out this item. It's a little tote bag it is. Look at how cute this is. So this is the side here where you're actually going to be doing the diamond painting. If you look at it really close, you can see there's like little baby numbers on there. And what you're going to do is you're going to correspond your diamonds to the number and you're just going to put them on there. I thought this would be really cute where I could use it for my coupons or maybe I could take it to the beach and put my sunscreen in there, my water bottle, my chapstick, you know, that kind of stuff. So this is going to be the handles on it. You can see it's woven very nicely, very, very sturdy. This is the backside. So it's kind of like a canvas material. You're not going to do any diamond painting on here. And then on the inside, it does come with everything that you need to actually finish your project. So let me pop this open and see how big it is. Ooh, I gotta say, it's like a pretty decent size. I wanna say it's probably about maybe 12 inches across, 12 inches down. And then here, I wanna say it's probably about five or maybe six inches this way. So it does look really nice. It looks very constructed, very, very well. The stitching on it looks like it's doing really good. And then this is gonna be the inside of it right there. So then it also comes, like I said, with everything that you need to put the project together. So first of all, you have all your different beads that you're gonna need. So you can see these are all the pretty colors that we're gonna be doing here. And then each one of them, you can see, actually has a number on it, like one, two, three, four, like that. And what you're gonna do, like I said, is you're gonna take the bead, you're gonna use it with the corresponding little number on my tote bag there, and I'm just gonna stick them on there. Then it also comes with this item right here. So this is gonna be your drill right here. This is what you're gonna use to actually pick up each one of those little beads. It comes with a little tray, because what you wanna do is when you open up your little packages, you sprinkle it into your tray, and then you're gonna give your tray just a little baby shake, and then normally they're gonna go like upside down, which is the way that you want it to be. Then you're gonna take your little drill, which is this item right here. You're going to stick it into your wax right there. And then you're just going to start picking up your beads. So the wax is basically just to lift the beads up. It's not like any type of a glue or anything like that. And then when the wax actually starts to run out on your little drill here, then you're just going to push it back in there and you're going to pull some more out. So that was the first item that I picked out, which I think is super duper cute. Now the tote bags, they came in a whole array of different styles. I just thought that heart one was really cute. Plus, you know, it had some pinks in there and I just love me some pinks. I do. So the next item I picked out because I thought this would be really cute for my nephew, my great nephew, actually, he's going to be coming over and spending the day with me. So I thought I would like to get a little project for him to do. So here is the next item right here. This was actually $5 and 99 cents. It's like a little book, but you can actually do diamond painting. It. So I thought maybe if he's bored or if the weather isn't that great, then we could sit at the kitchen table and we could do this together where I could do mine and he could do his. Now he's six years old and I'm pretty sure it said in the description of this particular item that this was good for ages three plus. But of course, you know, you want your parents to always be around when you're doing it. So this says Hexapod Puzzle Brain DIY. So it's this cute little book right here. And then when you open up the book, I mean, I'm telling you, it's adorable. So first there's a little area where you can write something in there. Then right here is the item that you're going to actually be doing the diamond painting on. So you can see right there, there's a little ladybug, right? So it does have like all the little numbers corresponding. I know those little, little baby eyes 
hopefully can see all these little numbers. And then when you turn the page, so then it actually does show a ladybug over here. Then you have your next one right here. So it has like all these different ones. So there's this one here, you flip it and then you've got a little ant over there. So it's a little bit of learning experience at the same time. Then it looks like over here we have like a little bumblebee. You turn it and then you can see it does say bee right there. The next one here you can see is going to be a little baby snail. Then what else is in this one? We have the snail over here that's like kind of like completed already. It's just smooth though. Then over here we have a spider. Oh my goodness. Look at the little fangs on that spider right there. Kind of scary, isn't it? And then we also have a dragonfly over here that he gets to do. We also are going to have a little butterfly over here. And then, oh, what is this? Is this a Scorpio? Scorpion? Let me look. It's going to be a scorpion it is. And then over here, oh my goodness. Look at this right there. Oh my goodness. What are you? You look like a bee, but we already did a bee. Oh, this is going to be a housefly. Is that what a housefly actually looks like? And then is this going to be a grasshopper? Nope, it's not. So there is the next one right there. Then you have that there. And then you're at the end of the book right there. Now, isn't that adorable? Now, this again was $5.99. But again, it does come with everything that you need. It has the little drill here. It has your wax. It has little baggies. Because once you open up your actual diamonds that it does come with, you can't actually reseal those packages. So a lot of times what they'll do is they'll include these little bags here. Now, personally, myself, I put them in bigger little Ziploc baggies. Or I get like little tiny containers and then I put them in those. So there is that item right there, which I just thought was so adorable. Then for the next item, again, it's going to be another little DIY project right here. This is the next one. This one was actually $2.99. And if I remember, I'll try to link all these items in the description box below, just in case you want to check these specific items out yourself. And let me get into this one. Now, these, this one here is going to be like little stickers. So it does come with the little kit right here, the drill, the wax, and the little tray where you can shake your beads on. And then it comes with all the different beads that you actually need right here, all sealed up nicely. And then these are actually gonna be stickers. And I know I get a lot of these little stickers, but they're actually really fun because you can put them on your planners or on your notepad or on your computers. You can just, you know, place them wherever you want. You can even put them on front mail. But I just thought these were adorable. So here is the one set of them right here. And again, like I said, these are gonna be little stickers. So you can see, if you look at it really close, it does, this one actually has letters. And is there any numbers in there? I can't tell if that's a seven or not over there. But it does have all these right here. And then it also came with all these right here. And I just love the outdoors. I love the beach. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get me some beach ones this time around. So there is that kit there. So let me see if I can keep all these together because, you know, I got to keep all the right beads with the right kits. Now, the next items I got were actually accessory items. So the next one is going to be this one right here. This actually went for 99 cents. Let me see if I can get this open. Now, these are just little stickers. And this is going to help you keep your diamonds actually organized somewhat. So let me pull these little stickers out of here. This is what they look like. So there are going to be what? One, two, three, and four different sets of stickers. So you can see they're all numbered from, this one is like numbered from one to 99. Then you have your alphabet because depending on the project you're doing, sometimes they use letters and then sometimes they actually use numbers. And then we have this set right here. So the numbers are getting a little bit higher. Then the numbers are getting a little bit higher. These are for some really advanced people that have like a lot of different diamonds with their projects. And then we have these numbers right here. But you can always reuse these too, because what I'll do is like, I'll like line up my little containers that I have, and then I will put the beads in them as I'm using them, like, you know, one through, you know, 11 or whatever it might be. And then when I'm done with that project and I get rid of the beads and there's usually always extra beads. So if you lose a couple and they sprinkle on the floor, don't worry because they usually include quite a few extras in there. So then when I'm done with that particular project, then I'll, you know, move all those beads to the side and then I can use my containers again with whatever numbers that I have here that are going to correspond with the project. Hopefully that makes sense to all of you. So there was that item there. Then I also picked out this item right here. This actually went for three dollars and this is basically a little accessory where if you wanted to do a couple of colors at one time then you could actually sprinkle a few of them now let me see what this feels like oh it feels kind of cool okay so it's in like a silicone 
material or actually it's maybe like a foam. So it does come with two of the trays right here so you can have it all nice and tidy in one little area. And then it also comes with all these right here. I think these are all attached. They are. So if I wanted to number like one through four, I could do that. And these are the little containers and they basically just pop open somehow or another. Let's see, I'm trying to get them open. Oh, there we go. Okay, just took a little pull, but they do open up and then you could put your little beads in there. And then as you need them, you can take them from here and sprinkle them into your little tray. So I thought that was pretty nifty and still just a couple more items. So the next item I picked up was just this item right here. This went for 99 cents and this is just an extra wax. And I thought I liked this one because you're able to keep it in a little container here. So you, maybe you won't lose it because sometimes I misplace them. So it just comes this little container, it screws off and then you got your little wax right there inside. So I thought that was kind of a cute little item. And then for our final item, it's gonna be this item right here. This is gonna be another tool and I can't wait to give this one a try. Now this actually goes for $3.99. So let me pop it out of here. It does come in its own little plastic case. So let me show you that. This is the case right there. It did come in several different colors. Of course, you know, I did have to choose the pink one. And when you open this up, it has this little plastic piece that's keeping it into place. And I think this might be a game changer. Well, maybe not a game changer, but I think it's gonna be really cool because this particular drill right here actually has the wax already in it. You can see there's a little bit of wax right there at the bottom. So this way you don't have to like take your drill, put it into the wax and then pick up your bead. You already have the wax preloaded in this pen right here. You can also buy refills. So this was $3.99. I wanna say the refills were maybe like $2.99, something like that. So you can see it does have like little grooves right there. So when you need some more wax, all you do is just give it a couple little cranks and then your wax is gonna come right there out the bottom. Let me know if you do diamond painting. Do you have anything like this? And how do you like it? Because I just think this is going to be the coolest thing ever. I do want to thank Paint Some Way so much for sending over all these amazing items. I so greatly appreciate it. I am going to leave all their information down below in the description box, just in case you want to check it out for yourself. Again, if I have any giveaways going on, I'm also going to leave that link below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider hitting that subscribe. A like on your way would be great. And if you have an extra time, hop on over to Instagram. Follow me over there. It's reviews to suit just like my channel name other than that that's all i have for you guys today so please be safe be well and i'll see you in the next video bye